I'm actually a late starter on the motorbike. I started with the age of 26. My friend Norbert brought me to the bike. And he forced me really, sit on the bike, try, sit on the bike. And I said, okay, no, 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 I'm not the guy for the motorbike. You know what? The magic happened. Afterwards, I bought an R1200 GS back in 2006, I think. Later on, my old schoolmate Roman bought a GS and he was into the family. Uh, so Roman, Norbert and me, we were on tour together. What I really love about the community is that it's not about winning or being first. It's about being together, riding together and spending time together. Now I work as a BMW instructor, as a GS Marshal, and I can pass on things to other guys that just started being into the community. Hey, I'm Toby, and this is the story of a legend. One of these legends is Laszlo Perez, who is so deep into the bikes, like maybe nobody else, who's one of the creators of the R80 GS, and he's still working on bikes day in and day out. Ja, ich bin jeden Tag noch mit dem Motorrad beschäftigt, weil erstens einmal macht es mir Spaß, nach wie vor. Und in der Technik gibt es einfach kein Ende, es geht immer weiter. Und deswegen bin ich da immer mit Herzblut noch dabei. Aber ich habe immer gute Ideen gehabt und so habe ich immer wieder die Maschinen immer von Jahr zu Jahr so weiterentwickelt, dass, äh, dass ich konkurrenzfähig war mit meinem Material. Ja, ich habe also 37 Jahre in der Entwicklung gearbeitet. Und im Nachhinein muss ich sagen, ich habe also festgestellt, dass ich in den 37 Jahren nicht einen einzigen Tag hatte, wo ich ungern in die Arbeit gegangen bin. Ich habe einen super Job gehabt, tolle Kollegen. Also das ganze Umfeld war einfach, ich glaube, das gibt es kurz mal. Nach Beendigung der Motorsportaktivitäten im Gelände hat sich BMW verschärft auf die Rallye-Szene spezialisiert. Und mit Hubert Oriol wurden dann die ersten Erfolge bei der Dakar eingefahren und es blieb dann auch einige Jahre so. You know, the very extraordinary story about the Dakar is that we had a passion. The passion for me was to go to Dakar on a bike. And everybody was there inventing the story. Sabine organizing the race and us making a team with a new factory BMW. Now people are still buying a GS because they are buying a part of the adventure. And that's extraordinary because 40 years later, the GS is still there. I know Hubert from his stories. I haven't met him in person. I just met Laszlo, and it's a big benefit of my history or my job to know their stories and then afterwards meeting them and said, hey, that's the guy I read the stories about. And this is why I think it's a perfect job for me, being able to put even more feelings and more emotions to their stories and to tell them to others. And then the second gen, of GS, the R100 GS, got an increase of capacity, which made it then the most powerful enduro in its time. Besides various other changes they made, there was one small change. They just left out the slash between the G and the S. Before it was only Gelände Straße, and now it could be as well interpreted as Gelände Sport, which is quite a good fit as well. From the design, they also introduced a new color scheme which was black and yellow, and that separated it from the first gen, who was mostly known for the white tank and the red bench. While other colors were there as well, black and yellow is one of my favorite, because it's my favorite soccer team. And I heard that the design team took this as an inspiration. Uh, maybe it's a bit too early to talk about that. So in the 90s, BMW recognized the demand for smaller, GSs. So while having introduced the R65 GS in the 80s, which was not a great success, they decided in the 90s to have GSs with single cylinder or uh, inline two cylinder engines, which then at the end turned out to be a great success and still are. After my first challenge in 2009, there were a few guys using the HP2 Enduro. They were always the guys in the front ranking. Over the last years, I collected so many bikes. 
but this one is still my favorite. Being a legend for me means something that others look up to and can trust in. And that overlast centuries. It's a bike for everybody and for every generation. Hey guys, you remember the black and yellow bikes that Benny was talking about earlier this day? We've got new ones that you might not know yet. Enjoy! So the adventure starts when I jump on my GS, leaving the garage and being out with the evenings on the campfire together with the friends, the smell of the fire. Laszlo, Benny, Norbert, Roman and all the guys meeting on the GS challenge, on the GS trophy. All the marshals, all the friends are part of the community and it grows every day. This is my story of a legend.